Hey guys, if I tell you you can attend a conference with all expenses paid, this includes your flights, accommodation, stipend and many more, are you going to believe me? Well, you are in luck because in this video, I'm going to share with you an incredible opportunity which is brought to you by Google. And you know, Google is one of the largest tech companies in the world when it comes to conference and they are also supporting individuals. They have some packages called the Google Conference Scholarship. Today, we are going to dive in. My name is Emmanuel. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Let's Let's fire up. Google is offering conference scholarship to help students and professionals from underrepresented groups in tech to attend conferences relating to their field. So whether you are into computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, or cyber security, this scholarship could be your ticket to your next big event. So what exactly is the Google Conference Scholarship? It is a scholarship which is designed to help students and professionals who are historically marginalized backgrounds in tech to participate in networking, mentorship, and learning opportunities that tech conferences provide. Now, let me break this down and tell you how it works. So Google offers this scholarship in several regions, which include North America, Europe, Africa, India, Japan, and so on. The great thing is that whether you are a student, professional, or a researcher, you may be eligible to apply. Now let's get into the most important stuff, which is how to apply. Now before then, what is the eligibility criteria? You need to be studying or working in tech related field and identify as someone from an underrepresented group in tech. So this includes people of color the LGBT community and people with disabilities and the second one is you have to pick a conference that relates to Google's goal you know Google is a tech company and they want their scholarship to finance areas in tech so you just have to go and look onto their website they have some conferences that they are interested in such as AI machine learning software development cyber security and the like. so just make sure that the conference that you are going aligns with the interests and goals of Google so after you become eligible and also you have selected a conference in tech which aligns with Google's goal, then the next thing is you have to submit your application. Now, let me just quickly go through the application process, the website and how you are going to navigate. I'm going to use a laptop for this process. You can also use a phone or any other device. We've been using Google a lot on this platform for so many registrations. Now, this is a Google program. So definitely we are going to go into Google and type Google scholarship. For conference I'm going to leave the links in the description as well so if you type this then you just click on the first one that comes in and as I said earlier this conference is specifically for people from North America Africa and the APAC area so the APAC area is the Asia Pacific area and let's just scroll down and see so they have conferences in North America and if you are in North America and you're on this platform, just go through the North America sections and they have conferences that qualifies and the eligibility and other questions. Now, I have an interest in people from Africa. So let's just click on Africa and see what it has for us. Now, if you click on Africa and you scroll down, you can see overview eligibility to apply and claim process. Now, let's quickly look at the eligibility criteria. So it says that to be eligible for this conference, you have to be a full-time student enrolled in a recognized university in Africa who is in need of conference travel funds. So you have to tick this box. And the second thing is you, you must have a paper accepted at a top tier computer science conference. And we prefer to support conferences in research areas where Google has strong interest, as I said earlier on. And you have to visit the googleresearch.com for a list of all these areas. I don't have much time, so I won't go in there. You can just go in there yourself. And also another eligibility criteria is you have to be sole or a joint author of an accepted paper. So you just have to make sure you write an abstract and this should be accepted. It should not be any abstract which has been rejected, okay? And also they don't want their employees to apply. So if you are on this platform and you work on Google, you just have to share this video with your brothers and sisters in university who are into science and are happy to apply to apply you just have to click on this submit form by the deadline for the conference that you wish to attend so you have to make sure that you apply in time so that you do not miss this opportunity now let's quickly look at how the form is like 
so if you are applying for this conference you just have to fill this form these are basic things you put your name in there your website if you have and the country that you are currently studying the name of your university the current program that you are offering and the title of your major study this is very important to them you can see that all these are tech related you just have to take the one which best describe you and also the date of graduation and your advisor's name and advisor's website if available this is just a two page form this is very simple to fill so let's just go back to our google website and that is it so if you have any other questions you just have to come to the frequently asked questions and you get all the questions and answers in there now that is the overview of the conference and we've also looked at the eligibility criteria and we have also looked at how to apply now let's look at the claim process how you are going to claim your money if you are selected for this conference it says that we review applications on a rolling basis all year round therefore eligible applicants will get our reply within four weeks of applying please apply for the grant well in advance of the conference start date as payment completion timeline can be between five to eight weeks so they entreat everyone who want to apply for this conference to do so in time and apply so that they will get notified earlier before their conference so that is it about the eligibility criteria and how to go about registering for this google scholarship now along with this registration you also need to provide your resume and there should be a brief explanation of why you want to attend this conference and how it is important for your professional growth so the pro tip here is you have to be clear and concise on how this opportunity will help you achieve your goals all right so you just have to make sure that you are in the tech area and this is very important to you, you just have to write a very deep statement to enhance your eligibility criteria and that's it if you are selected the google conference scholarship will cover your registration travel and accommodation costs and this is going to make it easier for you to focus on what matters most that is learning networking and making the most out of your conference so imagine attending a tech conference where you meet industry leaders you learn cutting edge skills and you grow your professional network all with google support this is a game changer for anyone who is trying to break through the tech industry so if you are ready to take your tech career to the next level, don't miss this opportunity. Just head on to build your future with google.com slash scholarships and apply today. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And also just becoming, we have a lot of playlists here with conferences, IELTS, and clays. Just go there and save yourself. Just look at the topics that you are interested in and leave us a comment on topics that you want us to cover here. Good luck with your applications and who knows? knows we may see each other in the next big tech event until then see you